Ah, it's raining. Okay. Sound like somebody was tapping on the window. Lots and lots of rain. <clears throat> now I could go and just simply hit the skip there, but like I said, I'm paranoid. I'm going to let it go through, verify that. I know this is extremely exciting. So I have all the features on here, the new OS X Leopard, what I really want to see is the new Spaces feature. That I believe I could be using a lot. Um, kind of one of the, I guess you could say a little annoying thing with OS X Leopard, or not Leopard, but just OS X in general. Um, you have Lots of windows you open up, at least I end up with lots of windows open. Maybe it's a habit, habit from being a Windows user for ages, but <laughs> um, end up with tons and tons of windows open, and usually they're kind of related to some stuff. You know, I'm going through and doing some stuff with web pages. Uh, another set will be all related to me doing uh, my work orders for the day, stuff like that. I think that spaces feature could be really useful for that because I can separate those out and I can just switch between those different workspaces. Um, it's a feature that's been around in Linux for ages. Uh, I remember that feature on, on old copy of Red Hat, I think it was version 5 or something like that I had uh, many, many years ago. I think it was like 96 or 98, something like that, I can't remember. But it was a long time ago, so that, it's not an original feature. You have to say they did probably swipe that from Linux, but uh, it's good to have that now. Definitely something I think I'm going to be using. <clears throat> now there is one one thing here. The time machine feature, I'd love to use that. Absolutely would love to use that. The problem is it requires an external hard drive. This is a laptop. I'm not going to always plug up a hard drive system. So I'm not even going to bother enabling the time machine feature on this. I might plug up a drive just to see kind of what the interface is like, you know, but uh, as far as the actual <laughs> Uh, feature itself, I'm not going to be using it on a laptop. That's just it's crazy because while your drive isn't connected, it's not going to be backing this stuff up. You're not going to have the different copies. The time machine feature really won't even be used. So also remember to constantly connect that drive every time you're going to plug it up to use it. Not going to work. Now you could go through. This is just theory now. I haven't obviously tried it. I'm guessing you might be able to take your hard drive, partition it, and set a portion of that to be used by Time Machine. Just a theory you probably could do that. Haven't tried it yet, obviously, and installing it <laughs> for the first time. But I would assume you could do that. And then have Time Machine just sitting there. That way you could have being kind of an archive copy of your files, you can use the time machine to go back and get them, but I'm assuming you could do that. And I can skip this feature again, 
checking the installation DVD, but I do want to make sure that I'm starting out with a good copy. It's the first time I ever used the disc. If I've used it, you know, a couple times before, I just go ahead and just skip it. But I've never used this particular DVD before, so I want to verify that this disc is in good working order. There's no damages in it, no corruption. Because that would really, really ruin your day. Okay, yeah, I'm going to upgrade to Leopard. Uh, this was damaged. Hmm. You know, <laughs> really ruin your day. Now again, I do want to point out, I know everybody loves hearing this, but it comes back to Apple's design. Everything always manages to come back to Apple's design, I think, and how they make things look, how they make them work. Um, it's that look and feel that I think gives Apple their, um, their brand, really. And that's something I think Microsoft's trying to imitate right now, and they're not doing a really good job. Um, thing with Apple is the design doesn't just look different than anything you've seen before. Um, it has the wow factor. I mean, right here, like I was saying before, this case is beautiful. I mean, it's something I would actually want to hang up <laughs> and put on a wall. I wish I could get a poster of this. I probably could. I should check my Apple uh, business agent store, see if I can get one. Because that is just beautiful. I mean, that it actually kind of has a 3D effect of it because of the four different quarters. So when I kind of tilt it like this, it actually looks like this X is jumping out of this swirl. I mean, it's, it's a wow factor. Everybody I've shown this box to is like, wow, whatever that is, it looks awesome. I mean, they didn't even know what it was. They said, look at this. They're like, wow, what is that? Whatever it is, it is awesome. Now, why does it have that wow effect? It's, you never see a box, let alone an operating system, that has uh, kind of a mirrored effect on the box itself. Yeah, Microsoft goes through and it puts that mirror effect on their uh CDs, the holograms, whatnot. But that's not the box. That's just the CD you put in there. I mean, it just seemed to really even look too much at the OS X disc when I put it in here. No. Even though I did see, you know, kind of the same thing with this silver apple. They did the same thing on that. Uh, that kind of looked a little cool, but it, it wasn't much to why. When you see the box and it wows you, that's, that's something. Um... You, of course, you obviously slide out like you saw me do earlier, and it just opens up like a little book. CD sits there, and additional documentation is here, contained within. I don't have much of a fingernail, but just kind of put your finger there and pop that out. And again, another common sense design, you're going to slide it out, you know? And of course, you do get your Apple stickers. I already put one on my door here, so. <laughs> but pretty much just a manual here, going over some, some of the features in here. The new improved finder, that's going to be fun to play with. The downloads, uh, the stack feature, whatnot. Uh... I'm not too sure I'm going to use that a lot. Something that just looks cool, I think. Uh, there's a couple of features in here. We can go through this a little bit later once it starts installing. Time machine, spaces. They always advertise new features in mail. Personally, I don't use mail. find it a little <coughs> weak. Um, I prefer my Thunderbird, 